Hey guys, it's Jess. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you about people at the gym. The first thing I want to address is attire. You are not going out for a drink. You are not going out to like, I don't know, you're not going out to places where you need to be dressed up. I can't tell you how many people I see at the gym in cargo shorts, khakis. I saw a girl the other day wearing jeans. And then I did find that this one woman, this is going back like a year or so ago, but um, she was on the stepper and I was like looking, and I'm like looking, whatever. And then all of a sudden I, look, I see this woman. She's wearing see-through white leggings with a pink thong. No shirt, just had a push-up sports bra. I know it was push-up because her tits were like up to her neck and there's no way in hell that's real. And then her hair was down and styled full face makeup like I got my lashes on she's got her lashes on I'm like I'm like you don't need makeup to go to the gym you really don't I'm sorry but you really don't if you're there to pick up people you you shouldn't be at the gym just go to the, go to the freaking bar you know second thing creepy people the people that can't mind their own business like they sit and stare at you and then they try to copy what you're doing or like they just sit there and stare at you like I was like sitting on the freaking bike like doing my workout and this man gets on the bike next to me and he's just staring at me I'm like hello like can I help you like can you stop staring at me I'm trying to work out here and it was just so fucking weird and then like you be doing something and then someone else is like oh I gotta do that too and I don't know why that bothers me but it does, but like, I hate the point where like, you're just sitting there on the treadmill and you look over and this guy's just, just staring at you like, you know, like deer in headlights and you're just like, what the hell is going on here? Another thing, I know the locker room is a place to get dressed and, um, you know, maybe change, maybe you came here from work, whatever, but there are changing rooms. If you're going to get fully ass naked... And just start walking around the freaking um, locker room. Just like birthday suit, tits out, vagina out. Like, I'm like, whoa, man, put your business away. Like, I'm really happy that you're very, you know, like, you know, you're proud of your body and stuff. But, like, you're making me feel uncomfortable. Other things that make me upset at the gym are the people that are just drenched, they're just drenched in sweat. And they're on the machines. And they get up, and then the freaking seat is just like nasty, gross sweat everywhere, and they don't clean it up. I'm like, I'm sorry, is this your home gym? No, it's not. Like, can you please like wipe this up? So I'm stuck doing wiping duty. And then now, because it's quarantine, you know, every other like, you have to, like, wipe down your machine or and wipe it down after you're done because you never know, like, you know, what you're going to catch. And then, another thing I don't like is, like, especially because it's quarantine, the machines are limited at the gym. Like, you can't go on every machine. But, like... I have a certain, like, when I go to the gym, I have a workout plan. I'm going to use this machine. I'm going to use that machine. I'm going to run the treadmill. You know, I got my I got my plan. So I go up to the machine that I want to use, and someone's using it. So I was like, oh, I'll just wait. You know, I don't really care. Like, it's not like they're going to be on there for, like, ten minutes. You know, I could care less. So I'm waiting there. I'm waiting there. And I'm, like, waiting. Like, wow, it's been, like, two minutes already. And, like, this doesn't sound like a long time. But when you're waiting for something, that's a long time. And I'm sitting there, and then I make eye contact with this guy. And he knows. He knows I'm waiting for him. So he just decides to kick it back, drinking his whatever Gatorade water. I don't know what he's drinking. But um, he's just sitting there, just enjoying himself. And I'm like, I'm sorry, honey, are you at a cafe? Like, why are you waiting? Like, just can you hurry up? And then they'll be like, sitting there, and they're like, oh. And then they'll be like, oh, do you want to use this machine? No, I just like standing here. Yes, I want to use the machine. He's like, oh, okay. And then he goes back to working out. I'm like, 
So then at that point, I'm like, I'll just come back to the machine. So I do another machine and then another machine. I go back. He's still there. It's been like 10 minutes. And I'm like, there's a, like, there's a certain amount of time that you hit where it just becomes crazy. Like, if you've been on a machine for more than 10 minutes, something is going on, man. And if it is, get off and we can rotate, you know. I know that's not, like, a big thing for people, but, like, um, yeah. But then we get the people that follow you. I had this man follow me around the gym the whole day. Had to call security because it was just too, it was, it just was weird, you know. It was just really weird. But, yeah. So this was just part one. If I come up with anything else, I'll let you guys know. Alright, peace out!